All right. I'm just uh, outside of Helgut, actually, looking for one of the uh, wild horses. I haven't actually ever found them all. But I just came across three Thalmor who killed some of my fellow Stormcloaks. You see, when I was in the wagon coming in for execution, they had me dead to rights. I was out there killing Thalmor and Imperials. So that's what I was. So, uh, picking up on being a Thalmor killer, I just stuck myself on Legendary. I, I don't know why. I find it a grind most of the time. Legendary and Survival. Now, I took out the bandits at the little camp just outside of Helgen. You know, where you open up the chest and three archers come out. They were, went down pretty easily. My big problem right now, come on, is I don't really have a charge on my ice blade. It's out of soul gems. I do have some elemental arrows. Fire, ice, lightning, just a, just a couple. So, let's just see what happens, okay? Let me do a save here. Well, you know what? That didn't go too well. On expert level, I think I would probably defeat him pretty easily. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought more were coming up behind me. Yeah, this might be stupid to do it on uh, Legendary. I don't really, basically, a relatively new character. I'm not ready for this. Although I have already killed, right at the beginning, the three Thalmor, kind of like this, and uh, at least two Imperial soldiers who were, you know, after me. That's a wanted men at that point. But I was on Adapter Expert. Posted of healing. 40 points of health. I guess that's better than nothing. What else do I have? Only one minor healing. This is not going to go well. Uh, frostbite Venom. Let's see if any of this is any good. And then we might go to the elemental arrows. Although I think my sword is a powerful killing weapon with a charge. Oh shoot, I should have took that guy when he was by himself. Let's see if I can string him out a little bit. There's the dead uh, storm clubs. Not a whole lot of damage. Poop! This is why I think legendary difficulty could be a pain in the ass. Both fine. Let's try. Uh, I only have a few elemental arrows. Hey, don't be surprised if I bump this back down to expert or even in depth level. Because <laughs> it's actually more fun that way, but yeah, you want the challenge.
know, if I had a soul gem, and you know, usually you're running around with all kinds of them, but I haven't really gone into any dungeons yet. I missed that one. Come on! Line up! This is like the... I've got to go uh, heal myself. I can't engage right at the moment. Now I guess there's always the chance that they will heal themselves also. There's a wolf, do I need that? charge up my ice blade, I think that would be awesome. Insufficient charge, I know that. I've got to take a potion. I don't really have anything else. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill all three of these. Probably I'll, I'm not going to necessarily loot my buddies. He's close. Maybe try a quick save. I hate the quick save, you know, just as you're getting killed. Sometimes it's hard to get out of that without completely reloading. Even without a charge, this ice blade is making some headway. Oh, that guy's ready to die. Oh shit, go! Damn it! I'd have to call that my operator error. The horse bumped into him, you get stacked up, and that's always dangerous. I should probably go somewhere and jump off the horse and use the magic of regeneration. What do I have as far as healing? Why am I always so unprepared? Might as well take a stamina. I don't know if I need that. Potion of healing, 40 points. Ah. We'll use a frostbite venom. Quick save. Oh, you know what? I think these guys have healed themselves. Something I failed to do. Where's the one up here that was half dead? Here's another video. How not to go into combat. But I wasn't really anticipating the combat. I was looking for a wild horse. And I'm going to head back and go to Falkreath, actually, and see if I can sleep, come dawn, buy some more uh, arcane arrows. Well, I don't know if that, if that, that town sells them. I guess once I go to Solstein, or no, what is it? 
the college and read a book, I will be able to make uh, or find and buy Soul Stealer arrows. Once you get the Soul Stealers, you'll have an unlimited supply of uh, Soul Gems. In fact, I tell my opponents, you know, that if they're going to mess with me, I'm going to turn them into a Soul Gem. I do not think I have another healing potion of any kind. I cannot recharge myself. Now this is where I want to be that guy who runs around always on legendary, you know, difficulty and uh, loots everything, picks up every ingredient along the way, he goes into people's homes and inns and just starts looting everything. All for making alchemy, you know, pose, uh, poisons and potions to sell for money. And then, you know, you go out and one, two shot, you one or two shot somebody on a legendary difficulty. But at that point, legendary difficulty is basically like playing at a medium setting. I'm gonna have to go regenerate my health. Or should I be a pure Nord for a bit? And not do so. I mean, okay. Here's the situation. I have no soul gems for my weapon. I'm sure my sword, the ice blade of the monarch, would uh, take these guys out a lot more efficiently, even on legendary difficulty. I'm very low on my arcane arrows. And I have no health potions. So, can it get any more handicapped for myself? Probably not. And I've got to sheath my sword, maybe get off the horse to get the arrows out of its butt. I didn't uh, recharge myself. How much uh, health do I have? Ah, oh, shit, I can't see. Oh! Well, I guess I can't level up at this point. Two handed? Nope, I can't do that either. With the heartbeat, I think I'm about ready to die. So this is just a thing to see if we can do it. If I can't do it, we'll uh, recharge using magic and take these bastards out. Package. Well, we don't need to go into battle with any food problems. Hey, did that give me some more health? If I eat food, will that increase my health? Well, it didn't increase it more after the first one, but down at the bottom, the heart thumping has stopped, and uh, I feel somewhat healthier. Somewhat healthier. Oh, yeah. Right, there's that son of a bitch. Let's see if we can take him. Well, I gotta get up before I can do my figure eights. I don't want any hits from him. Alright, there he goes. We got one. Are we far enough away from the others that we can see check his body to see if he has anything? Alright, fire arrows. He's got a couple of the fire arrows we must have put into him. A steel arrow. 
Maybe we'll come back and strip his body because we have no, uh, oftentimes I don't strip bodies out of an honor thing, I guess. But you know, for these effing elves, they don't deserve anything. The way we don't, they say we don't deserve whatever they were saying. All right, one down. Let's do a save, quick save. Let's go find the other two SOBs. Yep, legendary survival. It can be a grind. No soul gem, no health potions. Kind of camouflaged in the brush to me, my eyes. What did he say? Soon all Norse will be what to the Thalmor? I don't think that creep. Probably something how we'll be subservient to him or something. Not exactly. Get one of my fire arrows back. Maybe we'll, uh, once I kill the third one, we're going to take all the loot from the elves. We'll strip them. The, uh, the dead Nords. We'll take their gold and maybe weapons. Leave their uniforms out of respect. And then load up on the horse to where we can, you know, there's no really limit on that what it can carry and uh, go sell it ride it into fall creek by the merchant ride it right up onto the porch now these archers up here they didn't happen to take this last thalmor because i only killed two of them there were three There's a dead wolf there. Maybe it's possible that the archers up there took out the third one. Or we'll beat him later. But I definitely got two out of three. That's not too bad. Legendary difficulty. With really nothing going for me. <laughs> No potions, healing potions, no uh, soul gem for my weapon. Not even really much, by the way, powerful poisons. What is this guy? Is that one maybe? Yeah, I guess we already had him. So let's take the arrows. Uh, uh, what will we take? The hunting bow, the mace. We'll take the hunting bow. See what the others have. Ultimately, we're going to get to the point. Yeah, now I'm carrying too much. shoot. Then, of course, I have to sleep somewhere. What time is it? It is 2.23 a.m. I have to lead in to see the clock over my uh, video image. And here's another thought. Let me do a hard save. We could get killed going into town now. I think this happened in Falkreath, and we're heading to Falkreath. We're in Falkreath Hold. I'm very possibly will have a bounty on me as soon as I get into town. If that's the case, I think I want to uh, drop some of my weight. Oh. 
here we go. I'm thumping again. I got hit by a uh, arrow. What happened to the third uh, more? If I eat another piece of food, well, it might help. Horse hops. Well, I think it helped a little bit. That was a, uh, what, 380 worth of uh, restoration, food wise, hunger. So I'm getting the feeling that eating, you know, high quality food will help you a little bit, you know, health wise, maybe enough to keep you alive. Let's see what the guards do. Well, oh, this uh, son of a bitch, Yarl of Falkreath, he is definitely a uh, imperial supporter because at the embassy party and another on another character he uh, he says that the Talos worshippers deserve what they get you know the Talos massacre site Maybe the last witness was killed. I'm not being attacked yet. And for some reason, I don't seem to be overburdened. Oh, probably because I ate enough food to take off a couple of pounds. Short spoons. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Drinks for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. See what she has by way of food. Cooked beef, 380. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh. You hear any? I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil. Only I'd like to rid of it. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. We might get some more work so I can get up to level 10 faster to legitimately get Hendraheim. I mean, I guess I showed up the last video you can get it before level 10. I did it at level 6. I guess theoretically you can get it at level 1. But why do we have to wait for the warrior's letter, you know, to start it, you know, legitimately? Why not just go up there and take the home like I did the other day? After all, we are warriors, right? We should be able to just kick in the door of any place we want. That's the way I'm thinking. Nords arise. Oh, we have to take... Uh, keep that book and read it. Now I'm carrying too much. And Matilda. Sleep. Let's go five hours. If I can get it on there. Maybe I'll have to drop something. Ed. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. So then came clashing and slashing of steel as the no, Let's eat something. Let's see. Cooked beef. Hilda charged in full of seed. I guess we're still carrying too much. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful to the floor. Handsome man in front of me. Oh, Brandon, when I was in when I was in Riverwood a little while ago, I took the drunk Embry, gave him two hundred and fifty dollars to be a hand at my uh, farm, Golden Hills Plantation. I haven't really started developing that at all. I have no steward. I guess your wife would make the best steward. And incidentally, as we know, not only are the wives merchants, but as I recall on another character, they also sell the elemental uh, arcane arrows. I've seen enough of these graves. 
Hold the now we can't hire him for control. anything, it looks like. Who's this guy? A sad time. Nope. Good to talk to you. <coughs> well, hopefully we can walk across the street here and sell our stuff. And I'm hoping that this guy will sell Arcane Arrows. I can't remember if I've ever seen him do it. But most of the main general merchants in the towns so far that I've looked at will. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike. Some may call this junk. Me, I we'll call sell off treasures. some of this gear, but let's check out his weapons. Uh, no, uh, oh, fire arrows! See, just like I knew, the general merchants, not the caravans and blacksmiths, insofar as I've seen thus far, but he will sell the arcane arrow. So there's really no need to run around Skyrim trying to make them. I'm going to buy all 30 of them. All right. Now let's go sell our stuff that we picked up. So we have 33 fire arrow. We well, can get rid of the hunting bows. The daggers. A couple of long bows. do we have mammoth tusk we might keep that for my shoulder or something all right Steal are we anything from my all right shop. we're not You're overburdened right. yet anymore it's foggy here this is all of uh, vanilla no mods, just Creation Club. So I think I'm going to upload this just to show that we've killed some more Thalmor. And also to show that you can, in fact, buy fire arrows and ultimately ice arrows and the others at the merchants. You don't have to run around making them. All right. Later. the law and you disrespect me.